getting a lot of things done today, okay, to make it work. So you have two worksheets in front of you, you should grab them at the door. You also need your pop and eco book for today. Make sure you have a pencil as well. Your energizer's right up here, guys, just to review. We had a little mini test yesterday, so I want to go over population ecosystems, individual, and community. Looks like we're going to go slow computer day. There we go. Okay, so take a minute right now. Match the word with the number. The letter with the number. So you have one, two, three, four, and five. Match them with the correct letter, A, B, C, or D. Or E. What's the bottom one? I'll move it so you guys can see it. In your notebook? In your notebooks. <laughs> it should be very easy from our test yesterday. Very easy review. 
I was looking over some of your tests already. We're going to grade them all together tomorrow. They're looking pretty good, okay? So you guys kind of understand this pretty well. So I want to get into ecosystems today because we're moving away from, <coughs> now that we know all the terms, we can kind of get into our mini ecosystems. So I want to show you guys a quick video kind of reminding us what an ecosystem is, what is involved in an ecosystem. We know it's living and non-living things, but today we're going to be working with two different types. We're going to be working with an aquatic and a terrestrial ecosystem. So I want to talk about what those are right now. Okay, so we're going to have an aquarium, which is where we house aquatic um, organisms. So aquatic just means water organisms. And we're also going to be using a terrarium. A terrarium has terrestrial organisms. Terrestrial just meaning land, animals, and organisms. So we'll, we'll have both of those. Today we have four aquariums and four terrariums. So we're going to split it up where the four up front are going to have our aquariums today and the four in the back are going to have our terrariums. And then on Friday, tomorrow we'll switch, so you guys will get a chance to see the other one. So you're only going to be focusing on one of the mini ecosystems today, and you'll get the other one on Friday, okay? Because I want you guys to not be rushed and only have five minutes for each, so I'm going to give you like 15 minutes with each month today, okay? Just to make sure. So keeping this in mind, I first want to start out, you have a worksheet that has this. There's a part one and a part two. It says, after your group has studied the organisms on page 64 and 68, so that involves your pop and eco book. So get this worksheet out and then open up your green books to 64, please. And on 64, you're going to find pictures and descriptions of every single one of the organisms we have in our classroom. Now, as I mentioned, unfortunately, all our guppies <coughs> didn't make it. So we're going to get some new guppies coming in later this week, but for right now, we do not have the guppies. So we're going to be working with what we have at the moment. Just keep the, sort the guppies act like we have them because we will have them eventually, but just know that if you have your aquariums today, they are not going to be in there. So my first line of business that I need you guys to take care of is I want you to sort these organisms, the ones kept um, in your pictures, into whether you think they're aquatic or whether you think they're terrestrial. So I just want you to take a minute with your partners. I want you to read over briefly, just skim the organisms, and I want you to sort them. So write their names. So for example, the first one is earthworms. So if we're looking at earthworms, where do we think that's going to go? Is it going to go in an aquatic ecosystem or a terrestrial ecosystem? Terrestrial. 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 Why would we say terrestrial? Yeah, yeah we're Because it's earthworms. Yeah, earthworms, not waterworms, right? So it kind of gives us a hint. And if we weren't sure, we could actually check in the reading. It's going to tell you it's natural habitat and those sorts of things. So if you're not sure, read that section that talks about habitat and figure out whether it's land or water. Okay, I'm going to give you about five minutes to sort this out. So your five minutes are starting now. Go ahead and separate them all into categories. Aquatic ecosystem, water ecosystem. What one? <coughs> aquatic snail. Okay, so the aquatic snail, definitely the name kind of gives it away. Christopher, give me another one. So which one? The duckweed, right? It's a plant that floats on top of the water. Aurora, what else? Duckweed. The duckweed. Guppy. Oh, guppy. See, you know, I'm just assuming. Guppy, yes, definitely. Fish swimming in the water. Aurora. Ah, uh, the two flex worms, definitely. What else? The scud. The scud is a little shrimp that swims in the water. Nicholas, give me another one. The LOD is going to float on top of it, right? What about our terrestrial organisms? What are our land animals in this case? Nicole, give me one. Earthworm, definitely. Ernesto? Land snail. Land snail. Any other ones? Uh, Dot, give me another one. Isopods. Isopods, our little bugs, our roly polies. Mikhail, give me a last one. Alfalfa, right? We have a couple of different uh, grasses and things that are going to grow on top. What? There are quite a bit. What other grasses do we have, Lillian? Do you have some more? Which one? Scud. Scud is actually uh, aquatic. So you can see the scud right up there. It's like a little shrimp. So let me give you guys kind of a visual of some of these that we're going to be working with. So we have both land snails and aquatic snails that are going to be. So we have, of course, snails in both ecosystems. Isoclads, guys, are what you normally call roly polies. So there's our little roly poly up there. They're going to be in the terrestrial habitat, roaming around. They might be underneath the dirt. Same with our worms. There are a couple of worms. It's hard for them to live in this very low amount of soil. So I've only put like maybe one or two worms in there, and they may end up dying because the soil is so low. So if you notice your earthworm's kind of getting sickly looking, let's go put him outside so he doesn't you know, die in here. Um, there's our scud up there. They're very tiny. You may just barely see them. 
So they're only going to be in a couple of aquatic ecosystems swimming around. So look very carefully for these guys. They're just like they're almost going to look like a piece of um, the duckweed plant or something floating by, but it might end up being a shrimp. So that's why we have our magnifying glasses today to check those out. So check your answers really fast. Make sure you got everything in there. You got a minute to make sure. I think everyone's on the right track. Ryegrass is just a type of um, grass that's growing. So we're going to have a couple. We're going to have a wheat, alfalfa, and ryegrass that so we're going to plant in there. We don't have the seeds yet. We're going to plant them on Monday. Identify what animals are in there. We identified snails, isopods. Oh. Okay. Oh. So where's the earthworm? He's kind of buried in there. Yeah. Nice. Fruit flies. Yeah. You gonna list your fruit flies? Yeah. Yeah, they're part of it. Very nice. Do <laughs> you have some baby snails? Aquatic snails, some different plants. Any other creatures in there? Did you find the snails? Oh, I'm sorry, the um, uh, shrimp. No. Is there some in there? there should be some shrimp in there. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Right now, in the column that says type of organism, I want you to list the name of the organism you have. You have seen so far. So if you have land snail, list land snail. If you have Elodea, list Elodea. List out the names right now, please. Thank you. Make your desk, so get them there now, please. Elodea lights off. Before we go, one quick quiz. I want you to share it with your neighbor. Figure out where your feet belong. 